Come Freak Nation. I'm the president, T. Electric. It's been another home invasion, unfortunately. Um, you may want to ask yourself, like, when is it going to stop? I'm going to tell you something. It's never going to stop. In fact, it's only going to get worse. You can take preventive measures by arming yourself. I know I'm sounding like a broken record, but I need to get people to listen to me, to let me in. Let the idea of being armed manifest itself so you can protect yourself and protect your family. Now, I heard on the police scanner a report of a home invasion. Savages ran up in their house. The lady sexually assaulted the husband, robbed, and pistol whipped. I just don't get it how some people don't get it. The only way you stand a chance, a fighting chance is you got to be willing to fight back. And you cannot do that without a firearm. Okay? You cannot do that without a firearm. You got to be willing to be just as violent as those savages because that's the only language that they understand. That's the only action that they respect. And that's violence. That's what they do. That's what they love to do. That's what they love to inflict upon you and your family. <clears throat> now I'm going to ask yourself, I'm going to ask you this. Ask yourself this. If you are watching this video and you are not armed and you hear, forget 5 o'clock in the morning or 4 o'clock, it could be, you know, 11 o'clock in the morning, broad daylight, you hear someone kicking in your door you know, uh, smashing out your window and, 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 and making entry into your home, what are you going to do? I'm, I'm listening, and you don't have a firearm. What are you going to do? I'm rating. What are you going to do? More than likely, you're going to grab your phone, and you want to dial 911. Okay? When the, when the operator answers your call, she's going to ask you, how many, can you get a description? How many savages are there? You know, uh, uh, can you get a description? Uh, where you located? Um, can you go somewhere and possibly get a look at them, you know, you're not going to be willing to do that. You're going to be trying to find a place to hide. Then they're going to tell you to find somewhere safe to go to. And don't worry, police is on their way. But you need to realize that police arrive in minutes when seconds, seconds matter. They can take your life in a matter of seconds when it takes minutes for the police to arrive. Imagine if we lived in a world where the police didn't have guns, where they wasn't armed. 
and you got these savages breaking in, doing horrendous, horrible things to people, and you do call the police, and when they arrive, they come empty-handed. They don't have any guns on them, no firearms on them. You're going to be like, what the, what the heck? Why are these cops unarmed against these intruders, these savages that is armed? It doesn't make sense. You're supposed to be coming to protect me, defend me. You're supposed to be coming with the cavalry, you know, armed. Make it make sense. You should be asking your own self, why are you? Yes, I'm talking to you. Why aren't you um, armed? Because just like it don't make sense for the police to come unarmed, it don't make sense for you to not be armed. It don't make sense for you not to be your own first line of defense. You got to be your own first responder. It is savages out there that have no problem breaking up in your home and attacking you and your family and doing horrible things to you. Period. It just... Some people... They cannot relate or, you know, I'm not going to say comprehend, but some people think that they, they would never, it can never happen to them or they don't need firearms. There's many, many reasons why people choose not <clears throat> to be armed. I get it. Some people associate guns with violence. It's always some type of negative, you know, uh, 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 negativity associated with firearms. You know, it, it could be a whole litany of, of reasons why you don't like them. And, you, and that's your right to not like them. A lot of people don't like wearing seat belts, but it's life-saving. It's a life it's a life-saving mechanism in your car. When you strap that seatbelt on, it doesn't mean that you're going to get in a car accident that day. But it means that it can protect you and help save your life if you do. And that's all a gun is for. Being able to utilize it as a tool to defend yourself against these savages out here. And I'm not talking about everyday, you know, common criminals, man. Somebody that's out there that's just, you know, they on bad times and they hungry and, you know, they, they trying to steal some food or I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm not trying to cast judgment on anyone that's out there having, you know, a rough time in their life. You got to do what you got to do sometimes. You ain't trying to hurt nobody. I'm talking about these demonic, devil, demon, savages that coming into your home for the sole purpose to brutalize you, to torture you, to, to uh, sexually assault you. They get off on it. It's the way that their brains are wired. To the point to where it's just in them. It's like a serial killer where they just get this urge where they just, it's an uncontrollable urge where they just got to go out and commit a crime and just go out and, and, and torture somebody, man. And, and you, it's sick, demonic people that I call savages. I'm talking about those types. Because if they get a hold of you, they get the drop on you, and you're not prepared because having a firearm, that's just that's just part of being ready. You got to be mentally ready. You got to be trained with that firearm, learn that firearm, and you got to be ready to, to, to defend yourself. 
It's been many people that have been armed, legally so, and still lost their life because they either did something foolish or they just wasn't prepared or whatever reason. <clears throat> For whatever reason, they just wasn't ready. And I'm telling y'all, I'm begging y'all, you have to be savage, ready at all times. Because once they get in, once they get control over you, and once they have you down on your knees, begging and pleading for your life, your life, your loved ones, which is your family or your whoever that you love, if they happen to be there, you're putting your, your life at the hands of the savage. You're giving that savage all the power. He got control over whether you live or whether he going to take your life. And it's a power trip thing. They get off on that. They're going to have their way. I'm trying to keep it. PG, so a lot of people get turned off when I get to cursing them, you know, fired up and stuff. And 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 I'm not trying, I'm trying my best to, to convince y'all. I don't want y'all to, to, to end up being a future victim. I don't want y'all being on the front page of a future obituary. I think that you are worthy of being here on this earth and, and worthy of not having your life shortcutted, letting a, 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 a demonic savage cut your life short. You deserve it. We only get one shot at this thing called life, this experience called life. In life, we have our ups and we have our downs. And unfortunately, the cycle of life includes death. And we all got our day. But I'd be damned if I let a savage cut my life short. I'd be damned if I let a savage cut my life short. Because I believe in myself and I believe that my life is worth fighting for. You know, we got so much stacked up against us in the, in the two-way community, you know, from politicians, celebrities, and all those people, they got security. But for the common folk, we have to rely on ourselves to defend ourselves. I'm not going to defend, I'm not going to, you know, rely on no, no other man or, you know, uh, law enforcement or whatever to, to protect my family, why would I do that? I would feel less than a man. Anything can happen at any time, anywhere. And it's best that you be prepared at all times. God Freak Nation, listen, I love y'all. I love you with all my heart. I pray that you be armed and savage ready. Because in the event that something happened, just be prepared, man. Stay prepared. If you ready right now, you ain't got to get ready. So stay, stay savage ready, man. Godfrey Nation salute. I love y'all. You hear me? Stay armed, stay responsible with your firearms, stay righteous, and send that funky savage to funky town. I love you, God Freak Nation. Salute.